Darren Alexander, and I've been a cinch maker since 1986 when I learned in high school how to make that belt that holds the saddle on the horse. As you can see, I've done some pretty interesting things, and I've really enjoyed sharing that passion with others. I, even in high school, they got me to training other students, and I've engineered some different cinches as well. I'm a member of the Colorado Saddle Makers Association and have spoken at uh, many different uh, venues, the Buffalo Bill Historical Center, uh, the Oklahoma City Cowboy Museum, and uh, many others around the, the country. What I'm trying to accomplish with this project is to get fiber purchased from growers here in the U.S., alpaca and mohair. I've been several years I've been developing this and working directly with individuals to get the understanding of the fiber, the processing, and make this happen. Many segments of the do-it-yourself community have never had access to or if they did, it was very limited and, and maybe not very well suited for their purposes with the natural fibers in cordage. The things that we've done the past few years working with mills to get a yarn, many of them have equipment limitations, and so we found a select number of mills that we consistently work with to obtain and configure that in a way that we can then process on up by hand. We've come up with some unique methods of making that happen in a way that machines currently are not capable of copying what we're doing by hand. So we're pretty excited about the variation that we can offer, the, the bling, and, and actually using natural colors of fiber as well as hand dyeing fibers to, to meet that specialty market that's just really starting to snowball and, and gain momentum. Filling that pipeline with the fibers, having the, the processing set up in a scheduled manner, we can really meet the demand and folks can start planning ahead for their projects as well as being able to purchase right off the shelf as we produce that in a way that we can have stock on hand and sell from that. Anytime I've had stock of natural fiber cords, it, it goes very quickly. And the, the challenge in, in the past decades that I've been involved with this has been that occasionally things were available and the next time around they may not be quite the same. And that just stifles creativity when that's the, the common situation. And we want to change that. We are changing that a uh, little at a time and this will give us that headway to really make it go further and we've already got momentum of people desiring what can be done by making it possible to have the stuff produced and in schedule already scheduled because it, it does take a little time for that turnaround the funding will really get us in that position to have things available so that 4-H and FFA and others who are interested in making ropes and, and doing things with natural fibers in the cord crafting realm will have that available and it will grow from there because we've already established pricing that makes it sustainable. Um, the, primary thing is that what we have done with this is different than it's been done for centuries. So that part of it is, is really, really put us in a position to do things because we've thought outside the box and developed some things that other people apparently aren't aware of or, or haven't taken the time or investment to try. So we're, we're in a great position. We have requests from around the world to do our workshops and clinics as well as provide the materials to them for them to make their own products as well. So we're very excited. We thank you for joining us 
and look forward to meeting you in person.